Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Kamil Kuzmak and in today's episode we're gonna give a second life to one of my favorite cameras, Konica Big Mini BM201. Let's get to it! Okay guys, so we can do the repair now, we have our patient. The problem is that the entire panel at the back of the camera, which gives you like the little CRT screen for the options, the mode button, the self timer button and the rewind button is control through that flex cable. So basically you have this flex cable here that's connecting the back panel to the camera body because the doors are moving a lot. Eventually that little flex cable is breaking and then you can't use your camera anymore. And for many years I thought that this camera is ruined forever. However, very recently I discovered that you can buy the flex cable on the AliExpress and you can replace it yourself. So now I'm super pumped that I'm gonna be able to give this camera a second life. Okay, so we have all the necessary bits and bobs. We have some screwdrivers, we have some prying tool, we have some tweezers, we have the fresh battery to test the camera. We need to put any film inside because the camera has this automatic uh, film reader and it's able to detect if the film is inside. So we're gonna use this exposed broken film to just run through the camera and test it at the end. I also have this little empty screw box that I'm gonna use to organize my screws and parts. So I don't don't mix them up and it's gonna be easier for me to put the camera back together. So the first thing we want to do we're gonna put the camera on the nice piece of microfiber cloth because the camera is in the excellent condition and it, it would be nice to keep it that way. We need to open the battery door and then we need to unglue the battery sticker that we see inside of the battery door. I'm gonna use tweezers to get under the, the sticker and I'm gonna gently remove the sticker without damaging it so we can use it again and now we can see the flex cable exposed inside there is a little capacitor there for the camera flash that can be charged and can shock you with electricity so I will put on the gloves just in case so the next step is that we need to unglue the flex cable here I'm gonna use the tweezers to put it underneath the cable The cable is broken anyway, so we don't need to be very gentle with it, to be honest. I'm gonna use the prying tool to get underneath. All right. So the cable snapped completely. So the next step is that we need to take our Phillips screwdriver and we need to remove two of those small bolts here. Now we can remove the entire assembly door away from the camera. Remember to first open the door. And now you're gonna be able to wiggle it out. Okay. Now it's separated. Okay, so as the next step, we need to remove the glue residue from the battery door. We're gonna use some Q-tip with some lens cleaner to dissolve the glue a little bit. All right, so we have the majority of the glue removed. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now we have to push out that metal bar that's holding the hinges in place. You need to do it from the top. And if you look from the top, you can see that little metal pin here. You need to push from here. The good tool to use is the tool for changing the wristwatch straps. You usually have two ends. One end is for the spring bars and another end is for pushing pins. Okay, and we can see that it came out at the other end, so it's not difficult at all. We can move it a little bit using the tweezers. And now we can remove it completely. Okay, we can put the battery door on the side now. And remember not to lose that hinge pin. Now we can proceed to disassemble the film door back. The first thing we need to remove is this little 
spring loaded plate that's holding the film in place so in order to remove it you need to push it towards yourself and then move it to the left I've, I've noticed that the easiest way to do is by using the prying tool like this and you pry it a little bit from the side and then you use your finger to push it to the left you need to wiggle it a little bit remember to be gentle you don't want to break the delicate plastic parts so the bottom part doesn't want to let go so I'm gonna pry on it a little bit and then I will push it okay I managed to remove the plate without breaking the delicate parts of it okay so you have four little springs to remove just be careful not to lose them because they are very important so let's remove them one, one by one and let's put them to the side okay we have the four springs removed now we have seven little bolts to unscrew one two three four five six seven so let's start from the middle one remember to always organize your screws that will make your life way easier Okay, now we have all the screws removed, we can pry on that plate and remove it. Be careful not to hold on to this part because it's kept by this little plastic bolts and it's very delicate, it's quite easy to break it, so don't touch this metal roller. We have that part removed, we can put it to the side. Okay, now we can remove the broken flex cable. Just be careful because the screen is here and if you lift the cable up, you can accidentally detach it. Okay, now we can put the new flex cable in place. Let's take it out of the plastic bag. Just be gentle with it because it's quite delicate. It should go in like this. Just remember that you need to align this hole with this little plastic pin and you need to make sure that all of the holes align with the screw holes. Okay, now we can put the battery door back together. So let's start with the main plate. So we need to gently put it back in place and now you can put back the seven bolts so let's start with those that goes in the flex cable don't over tighten the screws because you can break them this way and you're not gonna be able to unscrew them and maybe in the future we're gonna have to replace the flex cable again so it's better to have that possibility one two three four five six seven okay we have all the bolts back in place now we can put back the four little springs okay now we have the four springs back in place and we can put back the plate that's holding the film remember that those two little notches need to be where the viewfinder is going so very gently place the plate back in place push it in and move it to the right it should click back in place okay now we have to grab our battery door and we need to reattach the battery door and remember that the flex cable need to go between the battery doors and that little battery door assemble so make sure to align everything correctly and now we need to take that hinge pin and you need to put it back and you need to remember that the pin should go on top of the cable so the cable should be underneath the pin and you can insert the pin back in place from the bottom so 
so it went into the first section now I need to move it a little bit to push it into the second section okay it went to the second section and now it's the crucial part to make sure that the pin goes on top of the cable I'll try to push the cable a little bit with the plastic tool and then I'll push the pin on top of it now the pin goes on top of the cable okay now we manage to put the pin inside and the cable is underneath the pin okay and now we can use the tool to push the pin all the way in it went out on the other side so let me just push it on the other side okay now the pin is perfectly in place we have the new cable in the correct position now we can put the film door on the side because now we're gonna focus on the camera body now we need to remove the four bolts that are holding the camera sashi together so let's start from the bottom one the one that's right next to the tripod mount now the one on the side okay and the two bolts on the other side okay and now we can remove the casing from the shutter side first okay it's a little bit tricky but we need to gently pry the inside of the camera out of the outside body you need to use force but not too much you need to be very gentle with it because those things are delicate We don't want to damage any more flex cables or anything like that. Okay. Now we have the camera out. We can put the front panel to the side. Remember not to touch those parts because you can get shocked with the capacitor, with the camera flash capacitor, so stay away from this area. Okay, now we can remove those two bolts and that little metal bar as well. Now we need to remove the top flex cable and set it to the side. Just be gentle with it. Okay, and we can set it to the side. And now we can pull up the old flex cable. We can grab the old flex cable with the tweezers a little bit. And we can pull it out and we can throw it away so now here we need to put the new flex cable now we can take the camera door and we can push the new flex cable it needs to go here between the plastic and the capacitor try to wiggle it in okay it went in so basically now we need to push the cable all the way in and align the door assembly back in place. Now the door assembly is aligned with the screw holes. We can close it and then put the camera upside down 
now we can put the top cable to the side we can pull out the new cable slightly not too hard you don't want to break it and you need to align the cable with the contacts it's a little bit tricky because it's quite short but you need to push it out and then you need to align it with both screw holes so you can use the plastic tool to slightly help yourself to align the cable with that little screw hole on the both sides it's a little bit tricky to make that cable to stay on that screw hole mount yeah let's try to align them together both cables at the same time that's the most tricky part of the whole repair definitely let's place the metal bar on top of it okay and now i think both cables are aligned we can put the screws back okay okay now we can put the battery in to check if the screen works so it looks like the screen is working correctly let's remove the battery now we can put back two screws that are holding the camera door now we can place the case back the prying tool to gently push that part over the tripod screw hole now we can put back the screws that are holding the camera sashi together Let's place back the battery sticker. Let's insert the battery and let's check if the camera is working perfectly fine. As you can see the screen is working, let's check the buttons. Yeah, we have the flash on. We have the flash off. We have the exposure compensation and we have the flash on auto again let's check if the self timer button is working okay it looks like both the screen and the buttons are working perfectly fine let's check if the camera is starting up with the power button okay that's very promising Okay, and now we're gonna load the film into the camera to see if the camera is working because that's the only way to check it because the camera won't take pictures without any film inside so we have this broken film that we can't use anymore so we're gonna use it to test the camera insert the film cartridge into the socket like that and now we can put the film flat like that and now we just have to close it Okay, now the film is in and we can try to take the pictures. So the camera seems to be working fine. I can see that the shutter is opening and closing. Let's change the flash from auto to on. And let's see if the flash is working correctly as well. Let's check if the self timer is working. Okay, and now let's check if the rewind option is working as well. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for today's episode. I hope that you managed to fix your camera without any issues. If you found the information useful, make sure to leave the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because there is more content on the way. And see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.